If making history as Singapore's first homegrown talent to win a mixed martial arts world title is what Amir Khan is after, then his upcoming opponent Edward Landslide Falayang could likewise establish a new record for the Philippines in one championship should he defeat the young lion. Both men are slated to face each other in the co-main event of one, Conquest of Champions, which takes place at the 20,000 Capacity Mall of Asia Arena in Manila, Philippines on Friday, 23 November. The world's largest martial arts organization has raised the stakes of the highly anticipated showdown, as the winner will claim the vacant one lightweight world championship. If Falayang succeeds in reclaiming the intricately crafted title belt at the expense of Khan, the Philippines will improve its unprecedented record of most championship wins in the seven-year history of one championship to 11. I've been representing our country for many years in different washu tournaments and mixed martial arts matches, says Falayang, who could join the likes of Brandon Vera. Gigi Estacquio, Joshua Paceo and Kevin Balingan as reigning Philippine-born world champions. Once again, I am chosen, is to bring pride, honor, and glory to our country. This world title bout against Amir Khan is another opportunity to hoist the Philippine flag aloft on the world stage. Aside from the country's augmented feat of most title wins in the promotion, Landslide could also herald Team Lake as the winningest martial arts group in one world title contests. They would have nine such victories. I, in addition to that, a personal record awaits Falayang. If he beats Khan, then he will become the first ever Filipino athlete to become a two time mixed martial arts world champion. With the one lightweight world championship on the line, having his hand raised in triumph would symbolize so much to the 35-year-old Baguio City resident who lost the aforementioned gold-plated strap to featherweight King Martin Guyon in November 2017. The heart to compete is still there, he says. My dream, gold, and vision are to reclaim the lightweight title. I've waited a year for the chance to regain it. I'm ready to win this title for my people. Dot sharing the cage with a dynamic finisher such as Khan, Fa Leang asserted that he likes his chances against the Singaporean star. In fact, Landslide has an idea as to how the bout could play out. My biggest advantage over Khan would have to be my experience. I've been in there with all kinds of guys, hard punchers, grapplers, intelligent guys. I've seen it all, he explains. I think my experience and the way I handle certain situations will play a huge factor in this bout. I have complete respect for the kid, but he's going to have to show me something I haven't seen before. Falayang is known for his explosive striking and superb takedown defense, and while he would like to earn a stop page victory, he is prepared to go the distance with Khan. I know he is a finisher. I expect that he will push the pace to get a knockout or submission, he says. Of course, if I have the opportunity to finish him, I will not hesitate to grab the chance. But in the event that it will go the full five rounds, I am prepared.